Hyderabad to Goa on electric car. Yes, we're gonna prove it today. So we are going to travel from Hyderabad to Goa in this video on this MG ZS EV. Previously, we have done Hyderabad to Tirupati and Hyderabad to Sri Salem on electric car. So we got a huge response for that video and most demanding comment from that video is to do a trip from Hyderabad to Goa on an electric car. So today we have MG ZS EV with us. So in this video, let's going to travel from Hyderabad to Goa and we'll cover all the charging stations which are available on Hyderabad to Goa route. So in this video, I'll share you which route is the best route to travel from Hyderabad to Goa and what are all the charging station networks available on this route. So to know all these details, please watch the video till the end. Before diving into the video, special thanks to MG India and MG Hyderabad for providing this MG ZS EV electric car for us. MG has recently launched our executive base variant in this MG ZS EV and the starting price starts from 18.9 year lakh rupees. So this MG ZS EV came under 20 lakhs now. So if you want to test it this MG ZS EV, please visit your nearest dealership. So without delaying, let's get into the car and let's start our trip. So friends, if we look at the route, there are total uh, three routes to go from Hyderabad to Goa. So I'm choosing a route via Solapur, Belgavi. So we have another two routes. So as per some of my friends recommendations, so this route is very good. And there will be a four lane highway from Hyderabad to 60% uh, will be the highway and 40% uh, will be a single line route. So my friends recommended this route and uh, I'm going through this route. So in Google Maps, I think it's totally showing 766 kilometers from Hyderabad to Goa sorry 721 kilometers so the time the Google map showing is 14 hours 8 minutes so I think it will be midnight by reaching to Goa so let's start our drive now and to locate the charging stations in between I am using an app called Plugshare so this is the most recommended app by the electric car owners to me so by their recommendation I am using this app we can literally set our starting point and destination then it will show all the available charging stations on our route so currently it's showing many charging stations on Hyderabad to Goa route and it's showing the same route which you are going that is Solapur and uh, Belgavi so let's explore each and every charging stations which is in between Hyderabad to Goa and let's see which company's charging station is located there and uh, how to use it so without any delay let's start our drive and uh, let's enjoy our Goa trip So we came around 48 kilometers from the place where we have started in Hyderabad and this place is called Rudraram. So it's nearby Zairabad district. So currently we are in Rudraram and in Rudraram in a Bharat petrol bank here we have a 30 kilowatt DC fast charger of E-Drive. So these are the partnership between E-Drive and Bharat Petroleum. There is a dedicated app to access this charging station. Here is the QR code for this or you can generally search E-Drive in the play store. You will get the dedicated app for it. So you should load the money in to it and after initiating the charger this charging station will charge your electric car so this is exactly 48 kilometers from the Hyderabad where you have started so you can consider this as the first charging station you will get while going from Hyderabad to Goa so this is the first charging station I am not going to charge my MG ZS EV over here because we have literally 85% of the charging in it so I'll show you one by one charging station which are on the way from Hyderabad to Goa in this series so let's meet at the next charging station Currently, we came 60 kilometers from Hyderabad and Sangareddy is still 6 kilometers from here. So here in a village called Kandi, in the Indian oil petrol bank, we have Tata Power 30 kilowatt charging station over here. So this is a charging station related to Tata Power and to access this charging station, you have to download Tata Power EZ Hub. So this is a 30 kilowatt charging station and 1 kilowatt hour power charges you 21 rupees. And in Plugshare, this charging station has 5.5 rating out of 10. So this may work or may not work sometime. So please check latest to Plugshare reviews in the Plugshare app, then only you visit the charging station. So this is the second charging station from Hyderabad to Goa. So let's head to Goa and let's meet at the next charging station. Friends, just after one kilometer of the previous charging station which I showed you, so here we found another charging station of same Tata power 30 kilowatt. So this is also in Indian oil petrol bank. So this 
this is on the hyderabad to goa route and the charging station which i showed you now is on the goa to hyderabad road so this is in sangareddy district malkapur village indian oil petrol bank so you can find two charging stations on this highway so let's head out to the next charging station friends we came 62 kilometers from hyderabad and uh, just 2 kilometers from the last charging station and here in uh, indian oil petrol bank i think yeah in indian oil petrol bank we found another charging station of tata power so this is a 30 kilowatt similar charging station that we saw previously so this is just 2 kilometers from the previous charging station and uh, so this is a third charging station from hyderabad to goa road friends still here we came exactly 275 kilometers from hyderabad and as you can see only 11% of the battery left in our mg zs ev so with the help of this 11 percentage battery it's showing 45 kilometers of range so let's check the real range of this mg zs ev in our drive so we can check the real range from here so this is the kilometer per kilowatt hour ratio so per kilowatt hour this mg zs ev gave us 6.5 kilometers range as this mg zs ev has 50.3 kilowatt hour battery so we can multiply 6.5 with 50.3 so after multiplying this car gave us a real range around 340 kilometers on a single range so still 11% of the battery left so by combining all this this mg zs ev real range is 344 kilometers on a single charge so as i already told you we came 275 kilometers from the hyderabad and we stopped here for charging so here we found a ev charging station So Goa is still 450 kilometers from here in Maharashtra state and in the place called Andur we found this charging station so it's written as a Insta charge I already downloaded the app regarding this so I'll share you the app name while I'll charge this MG ZS EV so as of now a Tata Nexon EV Max has been charging here so after completion of their charge so let us put our MG ZS EV in charge let's full charge here and let's start our journey to Goa again I'll update you once we initiate charge to our electric car Came 40 kilometers from the previous charging station, which I shown you just now. So the charging station didn't work for us. So the previous Tata Nexon EV Max owner successfully charged with the help of the the charger. But unfortunately, I don't know the reason. The charging station couldn't able to initiate the charge to our electric car. So we traveled 40 kilometers from that charging station, and we came to Solapur. So in the Solapur, we found this SR EV charging station. So it resembles same like. A petrol bank. So there is one 30 kilowatt charging station over here and uh, one 30 kilowatt charging station over there. It has two guns, so it can give a output of 30 plus 30 kilowatt with the help of two guns. So we initiated the charger. So I installed a dedicated uh, app called EV Pump to access this charging station, and I loaded money in it and I initiated charge to our MG ZS EV. So literally we came here. with 0% of the charge so there was only 10% of the charge and with the 10% this car traveled 40 kilometers from the previous charging station and then we came here and initiated the charging for our mg zs ev so i think this is the big risk we have took in this hyderabad to goa trip so those who are traveling from hyderabad to goa please charge your electric cars before crossing zahirabad because after zahirabad we couldn't able to find proper charging stations for 180 to 200 kilometers the next charging station stop will be in the sangli so let's meet in sangli sangli is around 210 to 240 kilometers from here and goa is around 424 kilometers from here so let's meet in sangli friends after completing charging in solapur so we came directly to sangli which is close to 240 kilometers from the solapur so in sangli we found a charging station of a charge zone in the indian oil petrol bank so as you can see that is the indian oil petrol bank so in this sangli we have a total three charging stations so in that we stopped here in this petrol bank and we charged our mg zs ev fully so to access this i downloaded charge zone electric app and i loaded money into it and i full charge our mg zs ev so this is 500 kilometers from the hyderabad and goa is still 235 kilometers from it so we have a total of three charging stations in sangli so we chose this charging station to charge our mg zs ev so goa is around 235 kilometers from here so we don't need any charging till we reach goa but let's see if we get any charging stations in the middle so let's try to charge our electric car or i'll show you the details of the charging stations so now without any delay let's start and let's head to goa
friends finally we arrived goa today so literally we started in hyderabad yesterday and we arrived in goa today so it took 24 hours for us to reach from hyderabad to goa because uh, we stopped in some of the places to charge this electric car to shoot some videos and for rest too so we halted three hours in sangli to take rest at night so totally it took us 24 hours but if you plan accordingly you can come to goa from hyderabad within 16 to 18 hours including the charging breaks so while talking about the charging stations so we showed you the charging stations which are on the way uh, between Sangareddy, Zahirabad, Andur, Solapur and Sangli. So we stopped at all these five places. So if you are traveling from Hyderabad, please charge your electric car before crossing the Telangana border. So in Zahirabad itself, you top up your electric car up to 100% and you start to Andur. So in Andur, you will have one charging station, but we can't expect, we can't predict whether the charging station is working or not. So personally for us, it didn't work for us. So we took some extra risk and travel 40 kilometers from that Andur to Solapur to charge our electric car. So by reaching the Solapur, it was 0% charge in our electric car. So there we charge 100% and we traveled from Solapur to Sangli and we halted at Sangli at night and we charged our electric car in an Indian petrol bank by using the charge zone EV charging stations. So we charged only at Solapur and Sangli. For MGZS EV, these two stops can be enough but if you are traveling in a Tata Nexon EV, you should take at least three stops. So as I already told you, please take break at Zairabad, Solapur and Sangli. So these three breaks will be enough to you. So this is all the information in this video from Hyderabad to Goa series. So this is all the information in this Hyderabad to Goa episode. So if you found this video informative, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.